the table and do a little bit of talking about this old saw. So, um, let's start with what it is. The McCulloch Power Max 6. Um, it's got a 16 on here. It's a hard nose bar. Quarter inch pitch chain. Um, let's start out with where did I get this? Um, I bought it to that same auction that I bought the 610 on. It's an online auction. I bought it only seeing pictures, and I don't think I gave. I think I gave maybe sixty dollars for it. And it's actually in remarkably good shape. Pull the oil or the air filter out here. It probably needs cleaned out because I've been running it a little bit. Um, the serial tag on these saws is on the air filter right there. So there's the serial tag. I don't know if you guys will be able to read that or not. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Colic USA serial number 12-71844. So, pretty decent little saw. Said this air filter is needing to clean. Probably get some brake clean and clean that out. But it, it actually is a pretty good little filter yet. Um, pretty basic little saw. Um, the sprocket design is really weird on these. It's got a monster clutch for 30 cc's manual oiler up here 
on off switch adjustment screws choke lever um carburetors back in this area it's got some kind of an air horn i guess that goes over here i haven't taken it apart yet so i do have to replace the starter uh plastic cup on this because it is bad or getting bad um i can still get them so that's not a big deal one thing if you do get one of these you're gonna need a 7 16th socket i don't have a bar wrench i bought a mcculloch uh, tool kit but it's for a mini mac and the bar nuts are a little bigger i guess on a mini mac so things i like about this saw I'll take you guys out of the mount here um super basic layout it said adjustment screws um on off switch oiler uh fuel full ropes right here um the thing i don't like mainly about this saw is where the soil fill is you got to tip it up like this to put oil in it which is kind of annoying but um it runs freaking good it cuts pretty good as you can see in that oak that was like a oh like a four or five inch solid oak round and once i actually got it to where it would not just dog in and clutch out and freaking zipped right through that um another thing i don't really care for on this is this cover has got let's see if i can get it tipped up it's got little slots here and the slots are on both sides and it'll only fit in one way so it's kind of a pain in the butt um things i do know about this saw since it's quarter pitch chain um and it's a full handle here it goes all the way to the starter cover there it's a little bit of a later saw the way i understand it um i said it's been a pretty good little saw for me i have had zero issues with it other than that starter cup trying to go out so i'm gonna replace the starter cup and uh keep her going like i said the things i like about it is the simple layout um the things i don't like um is the hard nose bar which i could change if i wanted to and the oil fill and that starter cup's kind of a weak design but uh other than that i really like this little bugger runs good it's a little harder to start but uh, a lot of these small old saws are hard to start so that's not real uncommon but uh i think that's just going to be about it for today i'm just kind of goofing around running this saw a little bit so that's all for now folks